all right hello guys welcome to this very section on this video i'll be guiding you on how to set up your business manager and be ready for facebook ads so now let's dive into my business manager let's dive into my business manager so i'll be using chrome browser chrome browser so you need to use chrome browser if you don't have you can go to play store and download chrome browser so i'll activate this chrome browser the first thing you need to do is to log in your facebook account on the chrome browser once you log in your facebook account you go to this button here click on these buttons and locate this desktop site so you click on this desktop site once you click on the desktop site you have your chrome presentation looking like a pc now the essence of using this desktop site is this facebook actually restrict mobile device from accessing this if you don't activate that desktop site and you try to visit the business manager you will be taken to the app where you'll be downloading the ad manager app and we are not using that ad manager app to run ads so once you do that you are set to go the next thing you need to do is to type in business you type in i'm coming let me reduce my screen yeah, I type in business.facebook.com. Pay attention to it. Business.facebook.com. Business.facebook.com. You can see this is it. Business.facebook.com. So once you do that, you click on, on launch. You visit that very site. You visit that site and allow it to load. So you can see it's loading it's loading now once it loads you discover that it will either take you to this page or it will take you to the business manager page this page is not business manager page this is business suit if you take a look at our screen here you can see meta business suit and once you can see your facebook post here you can see information about your business here like post comment like reaction just know that this is the business suit not business manager so how do we now move to business manager you go to the bottom of the page scroll down to the bottom of the page once you scroll, scroll down to the bottom of the page you are definitely going to see something like uh, okay you see something like this help you can see help is what I want to use is here this button you can see that inverted uh, triangle so you click on the inverted triangle you see you see a pop-up you see a pop-up like you can see you see a pop-up like switch to business manager this is what I mean switch to business manager so you click on this switch to business manager then it will pop up asking if you want to switch to the old version so you click on switch once you click on switch it's definitely going to take you to okay now if you if you just come this way click on this uh close icon click on it then to close and takes you to the business manager interface now you may be required to create like this very one seems like it has been created automatically but a situation whereby yours is not created this way all you need to do is just click on create insert your business name insert your email address and create once you do that it will bring you to this page and once you're on this page you have created your business manager account the next thing you are going to create now is your ad account your ad account is where you are going to run your ads so now how do we create an ad account if if it brings you to this page you, you click go to business settings let me zoom it this is go to business settings or you come to these three lines here this three line at the top here click on the three line you locate business settings you can see business settings you click on business settings so remember you must be on desktop site if you're using your mobile device if you're not using your mobile device you 
will be free to to visit the page with your pixie or your whatever so now we are on the business manager you can see there are different things here on this page but we, our focus is on ad account so go down to where there is ad account scroll down to where there is ad account this is ad account click on ad account once you click on ad account you see a pop-up this is a pop-up so you click on add you click on add once you click on add you see a pop-up like this so the first one is add another account this next one is request access to another account our concern is the last one which is create a new ad account this plus so you click on create ad account then it will come up with this page then you insert your ad account i will name it i will name it floor beauty empire because as a business the owner of the account then i will change this time zone to my current time zone i am currently in nigeria and i will use uh, africa lagos and africa so it's uh, gmt plus one so i'll look for where there is gmt plus one and i'll locate lagos africa you can see this is lagos africa so i'll click on lagos africa then the next one is i'll change it from this dollar to naira i'll change it from dollar to naira i will explain why when we get there so once you are done you click on next now you select my business because this is your business but if it's not for your business you can use another business or client but this is her business so i'll click on my business then i'll click on create so once i click on create you give it time to load now you can see it, it, it has been created, but we need to give some permission to the very account, the very Facebook account that, that, is, that, that owns this business manager and this other account. So the first thing you do is you can see that your name is here. You click on this button, click on it to activate it. Once you click on it to activate it, come down, ignore these ones, come down to this full control and click on full control. You can see the two things that I just activated. Once you click on the full control, you click on assign. You have created your ad account successfully. The next thing now is to add payment. Now, there is this issue currently in Nigeria regarding making payment with uh, our ATM cards online. So the best payment method now that will ease everybody with most ATM cards is pay you. And that's prepared means of payment. We have two types of payment on Facebook. You can pre do prepaid or you can do postpaid. The postpaid is where you link your bank cards. Once you start running ad, Facebook will be charging from your account. But the prepaid is such a way that you add money to the prepared account, just like you recharge your SIM card or you buy prepared meter and for, for your charges, your billing. Then they charge. So you can fund your account and Facebook will be charging as you are running your ad. It's more like more of charge as you go. So that's what we want to do now. So don't close here. Click on this ad payment. Add info. Payment info. And if you have created this already and you want to know how to go about your payment info, just check some of my... I did one video on how you can add pay you. Check my YouTube channel on... Just type pay you on it. You discover I did a video on that and just watch it. If you have done... If you have exceeded this part already... If you have created initial but if you are just starting facebook ad for the first time just follow this video pay attention this attention to this video step by step don't skip anything if possible if you can take a pen just be writing and be drawing and be drafting take the video send it or maybe use another phone to be watching it and be getting access to your own phone or watch it once watch it again watch it until just watch it maybe watch it like one minute go back do whatever it is that you've seen pause the video go back and do it the next step watch and do the same next step watch and do the same so that you can follow up everything so that you don't miss anything if you miss anything you are going to 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 regret it later so let it not be that you regret so now you can see everything there is in nigeria ensure that it is nigeria naira and lagos then you click on next 
if you're okay now this is the pay you are making reference to you can see we have it here the first one is prepared that's when you activate your card you add your card to it but we are not using that we are using the second one we are using prepared so you click on prepared so once you click on prepared you click on next look at what i clicked please take note of what i click this one that has this green color naira payment with mastercard stroke visa then click on next okay you give it a few time it's loading good great it has been created now if your business is registered and you are paying tax you can add your uh, tax identification number here you can add it here you can add it here so if you don't have you can skip it is optional you can skip now we have successfully created our account you can add money to it now you can see the default amount is 4,500. You can edit it and add money and add the amount you want to add. I can edit it and add the amount I want. I can make it any amount I want, but I just want to use 200 Naira to test this now. So once you do that, you click on next. So it's loading. Okay, it's loading. All right, good. So you click on continue. You click on continue. Good. So you can see you are allowed to use Visa, Vev, and Mastercard, but I always advise Visa and Mastercard. Vev may not work. So you click here. Click on this card here. Activate it. Click on card. Activate it. Then the next thing is you enter your card details. So I'm going to enter my card details now, but for security reasons, I will just have to pause this video so you can see in entering your card details this is where you insert the multiple digits on your card on the front card then the next one is your card name the next one is your card name here is the month on your card you add the month on your card then the year you add the year on your card so once that is done you are a step ahead of so i'm going to do it now and I will pause the video and still return to the video. Okay, you can see now this CVV number, it's the three digit at the back of your of your of your card, of your bank card. This three digit is at the back of your uh, bank card. So you click on you type it here before you proceed. So I'm going to type my own card uh, CVV number now. So after typing, the next thing to do is to click on continue or pay now the green button below it you click on it then to take you to this page where you are to insert your otp from your bank so i will select otp and i'll click continue from my own bank now they are going to send me the code i will insert the code and complete my transaction so let me wait okay i received it so that's the code let me submit why that is ongoing please ensure your network is cool and don't close the tab you can see they declined my payment but had it been it was successful they actually debited me i don't know if they are going to refund it they decline the payment. Decline the payment does not mean uh, it will not work. You can you can try it later. You can try it later or try again. So it could be network, it could be from the bank, could be your network, so you can try again later. So you can see on the normal notes, after everything is done, they're supposed to debit me 200 Naira, the same way you see. So if I click on done, you discover that everything is good cool to go so now let's check our our account now to see if money has been added so if you click on this icon here if you click on these three lines here you locate billing you click on billing so once you click on billing so ensure that everything is in place before you can proceed once you, you can see there is zero naira the money I tried to add actually failed. 
it actually failed. You can see zero Naira prepared balance. So anytime you want to add money, click on this three line, go to billing, then click on add funds. Once you click on add funds, allow it to load, then click the other second one, Naira payment with MasterCard. Edit the amount you want to add. Then once you click on it, click on add, you follow the same procedure. So with that, you are good to go. So now how do you start? How do you go into your ad manager where you can run ads? If you want to run ads, you have to go to this uh, line or go to the home page. Click on this three line. Click on this three line. Click on the three line, then locate ad manager. Click on ad manager. Once you click on ad manager, it will be you you will be taken to where you are to run your ads. But remember, this video is about setup to to set up your account professionally. So you can see we are not done setting yet. So you can see you are not on a normal note. Here is supposed to you are supposed to see create ad here or a blue a blue or green icon here that shows you create. But since we are not done with the setup it is not showing up. So what we, are, what, what we are to do is to finish the setup. You can see if I click here, I'm supposed to start running my ads. But since it's not allowed yet, you click on this. Yes, this is their policy. You have to approve it. You have to accept. So scroll down, read it, and accept. So after accepting, you can see, you click on go to account overview. Click on go to account overview. Click OK or close it. Now you are going to be asked to confirm your page. Make sure you have a Facebook page. If you don't have, create. If you don't know how to create a professional Facebook page, you can notify me. I can get that done for you. I do that. I can create a professional Facebook ad, sorry, page with logo, cover photo, and a whole lot about it. You can drop a comment or let me know. Then I will definitely get it done. So now, you are going to confirm your page. So you must create a page before starting this business manager. If, if you've not created your page, you will not see this confirm. So I will click on confirm and everything is set. So what I'm going to do now is, you can see everything here is marked, confirm Facebook page, add payment method already, verify email address, everything here has been done. So the next thing is to click on continue. So I'll click on continue they to take me to where I am to select my objectives and getting ready to run ads. So if you are here, you are done with the setup for your business manager and you already you are you are ready to start running ads. You are set for ads already. So if this has been achieved, then congratulations, you are good to go. So the next video you are going to pay attention now to is on how to understand the business manager homepage or how to understand the ad manager or you, you study objectives or you study ad levels. That's a video you should pay attention to now. So you can check that on my channel. If you are watching this video directly from my YouTube channel, you can check it. But if you're on my lifetime support group, my Facebook ad support group, then you should not need you don't need to stress yourself in finding the video to watch i will definitely guide you on what to do but if you are just here on my channel watching this video then i think congratulations to you, you can check other videos on how to run ads if you want to join my lifetime support group you can drop a comment i will get you in touch so that you join us so congratulations for getting into this level you are a step closer to running ads